Welcome back, guys. Uh, we are continuing our series on Infinity Touch and Evolution Connects controls. This particular week's topic is going to be on setting up your AC or heat pump advanced service settings. So with that, let's jump right in. All right, so here we are in our advanced service settings. We're going to continue on our path, and right now we're going to go to setup mode. We did the thermostat configuration previously in a different video. So now we're going to do the AC and heat pump settings. So I'm going to click AC heat pump. In our particular case today, we are at the moment attached to a five stage air conditioner. In a little while, we will attach to a 61 stage heat pump and we'll show you what both of those screens look like because they are slightly different. The very first one under here on this AC unit is stages slash latch cooling. Now this will be a little bit different on a two stage than it is on this five stage. Um, the first thing is the maximum number of stages. It's a five stage unit, but if for some reason it wasn't perfectly sized, right? Sometimes we got to round off a little bit. I may want to bump it down and make it a four stage unit only because maybe the fifth stage is too much capacity for my particular project, right? But I have flexibility of that. I don't envision you ever going to one stage only, but probably stage five or stage four would be your maximum. All right, the second half of this screen is the minimum staging. So this works a little bit differently than max staging. For example, if I pick stage two minimum and I select 90 degrees. So what that means is if it's 90 degrees outside, we will only run in stages three, four, or five. We will skip stage one and two. The whole idea with that is there might be times when it's really hot outside above 90 degrees, for example, when I'm able to make the thermostat satisfied and happy with the current amount of cooling on stage one or two, cause it's downstairs, but, but maybe I'm not getting enough air to the upstairs, enough airflow. So by forcing it to run in stage three, four, or five only, that forces more CFM out of the air handler, which forces more air to the upstairs zone. All right, so in my case here, I don't wanna make any changes, so I'm just gonna hit cancel and go back. The next choice we have on here is cooling lockout. If I click on that, I only got one choice, is none, 45 degrees, 50 degrees, or 55 degrees. And that'll disable compression cooling below a certain outdoor air temperature. So sometimes you may wanna do that so people don't accidentally go into cooling on the auto mode um, when they really don't want to do that. In my case, I'm gonna hit cancel and go back. There's a few on here that are grayed out right now, and that's because we don't have a heat pump and we don't have low ambient cooling on this unit. We'll look at those on another unit in a few minutes here. So I'll scroll down in my case, and we got some more that are grayed out for the heat pump max speed and air flows, and we'll look at those on a different unit as well. We're switching directions a little bit here. We were working on a five stage unit AC only previously. Now we're gonna work on a full variable speed heat pump. There'll be some screens that are the same and some that are slightly different than we were just talking about. So once again, we'll go under setup and then we will select AC heat pump. So our first screen here is airflow settings, airflow limits. When I click on that, this is a very advanced unit that we're working on and has a variable speed condenser fan that has a variable speed compressor as well. So I actually have the ability to increase the minimum air flows and decrease the maximum air flows on this particular system so it operates at a much tighter range. Normally you won't change this setting, but just know that it's here in case you should ever have to use it. You will not see this on the two and five stage uh, Infinity and Evolution units. Below that, cooling lockout, we already talked about that earlier, so we can skip that. Defrost interval. Now because we have a heat pump, whether it's two stage or a 61 stage or a five stage heat pump, we have this screen. By default, it has auto defrost. All right, for the defrost interval, the default is auto. This is a very nice feature. What this does, instead of being a traditional heat pump where we change into defrost mode every so many minutes, right? this will do it only if we absolutely have to. So that particular unit has a saturated condensing temperature sensor. It has an outdoor air temperature sensor. It knows when those two things are getting close to each other. And if those two things are getting close to each other and we happen to be near the freezing temperature, we'll go ahead and go into the defrost mode. And as you know, with defrost mode, we temporarily go into a cooling mode, which we use the warm air from the house to thaw the outdoor coil, which temporarily discharges cool air into the home. So we don't wanna do it any more than we have to, right? So we wanna minimize that, so let the auto mode do its thing. However, if you wish to change it, you can switch it to manually every 120, 90, 60, or 30 minutes. Now some of the Infinity and Evolution condensing units have low ambient cooling, whether they're heat pumps or not heat pumps. Uh, this particular one does. If I click on low ambient cooling, I can enable that feature if I wish. That allows me to run cooling, compressor-based cooling when it's very cold outside. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. I don't need to do that on this project. 
I'm gonna scroll down. The last one that we're gonna look at right now is AC heat pump RPM max. 7,000 is the default on this particular unit. I can lower that if I want to. This is a pretty quiet unit, but if for some reason the neighbor didn't like it or something like that, I could lower the RPM, which would lower the sound, right? It would also lower the capacity a little bit, but it might not be the end of the world, right? So that's flexible setting that you have as well. All right, that wraps up our discussion on setting up AC and heat pump settings of the Infinity and Evolution control. Please watch our other videos and remember to like and subscribe to them. And we'll see you guys next week.